Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for May 19, 2022, the Pressure Edition. We begin with that story as reported by Compliance Week. Uh, head of the Criminal Division, Kenneth Polite, spoke as a keynote speaker at the Compliance Week 2022 conference, and he announced that going forward, CCOs would be, be required to certify compliance of their compliance programs with any settlement documents such as the DPA or NPA. This um, puts a level of pressure on CCOs that had previously not been seen. It's difficult to know what benefit will come from this, although Polite and the DOJ seem to think it will enhance the prestige of a CCO. I think it's going to be leading to lots of CCOs losing their heads or resigning, but we shall see. Next up from Reuters, J.P. Morgan shareholders disapprove of CEO Jamie Damon's special payout of $52.6 million that the directors awarded him to stay on the job for at least five more years. It's difficult to understand why anybody would be worth a bonus of $52 million, at least someone who's not named Tom Brady, but uh, the J.P. Morgan shareholders certainly didn't think that was warranted. In an article from Yahoo News, it reports that the Nigerian accountant general has been arrested for uh, stealing uh, more than $193 million from public funds and money laundering. Africa's biggest economy and energy producer has struggled for decades with corruption. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission said in a statement it had invited the administrative head of the National Treasury to answer questions but had failed to do so, so he was arrested. Next up, in a stunning development, an Allianz subsidiary has pled guilty over a $7 billion investment implosion. Not only was the uh, fine and penalty levied um, of more than $6 billion, but this particular subsidiary has agreed not to do business in the United States for the next 10 years. So if you ever wondered if significant sanctions can be levied, uh, they certainly can, or significant penalties. But here it was a decades-long scam where the heads of the business units uh, uh, created false documents, lied to investors, lied to regulators. In fact, it was noted that one witness in the middle of his testimony went to the bathroom and never came back. So uh, Allianz pays the price in the United States. I'm going to circle back to the Kenneth Polite story. The Compliance Week has reported on the full text of the speech he gave. In the speech, he gave a lot of good information to the compliance practitioner that I hope you will uh, be able to access and utilize. But this certification requirement is just a uh, really game changer, and I don't think the DOJ has thought through the consequences of what they've asked CCOs to do. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.